So one way to get started with a new Annex workspace is to use its presets. And you can get started with the create Annex workspace command. You usually give it a name such as like happy novel, which is your organization or how you want to call the workspace at the top level. And this will then give you a list of potential predefined setups for your Annex workspace. Now you can go just with an empty one. So with just an empty apps and lips setup or just one that is pre-configured and optimal for creating public NPM packages. Or also if you know that you're, for instance, developing a React application in there or most React applications, you can go with a preset for React. Let's call this demo app. I definitely want to opt into Annex Cloud and bam, here we go. So we have a fully functional workspace setup with our demo app React application in there. We don't have to worry about the configuration at all. So how to set up Webpack or whatever you want to use to build your React app and run it. We can literally just go ahead and run it. And this will launch our React application in development mode and we can continue working on it. This also not only gives us the setup for building and serving a React application, but it also comes with a JS config, it comes with Cypress and to end test runs, it comes with ESLint and TypeScript setup and much more. So this will definitely give you the best DX in the long run and you don't have to worry about all the details from the get-go. So I hope this gave you a nice overview of how to get started with an X. Check out more on nx.dev and see you in the next one.